What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey, my name is VNA Strike. Thank you so much for being here. So today I am doing my current favorites. They are my last month's favorite, but since this video is going up a little bit late, let's just call them my current favorites. But just know that I've been using these products for the past month and I just have so much to show you guys. So I hope that y'all enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't even breathe for like the whole time I was talking. Let me try this again. Hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have so many favorites. I do have a lot of skincare products that I wanna share with you guys and then I have a couple makeup products that have been so good to me. So first and foremost, let me just give a big shout out to my favorite favorite of the year. What? Guys, I mean, I'm sorry. I know I just uploaded my video for my merch, but I just wanted to give it a big shout out. If you haven't seen that video, um, it's the one that I posted right before this. It's a huge clickbait. It literally says, I've been hiding something from you. And I just thought it was funny. I'm sorry if that bothered anyone. Come on, I don't really clickbait anyways. I just wanted to remind you guys that I will have it listed down below, um, the link to where you guys can shop. And if you want 20% uh, of your proceeds to go to a homeless shelter charity, definitely buy them before December 13th. I risked having hat hair just for that little self promo. I hope that you guys appreciate that. So first let's talk about First Aid Beauty. I'm so lucky to be on their PR because I love First Aid Beauty and they do send me like every time they have a new collection and this is actually like their anniversary collection. So I believe this is just like their best sellers with like really cute packaging and their best sellers for a reason. So first let me talk about the facial cleanser. So this is a pure skin facial cleanser with fab antioxidant booster. It's supposed to remove surface oils, makeup, dirt and grime and it is safe for sensitive skin. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been using the crap out of it. First of all, I love the consistency. It literally says it's an airy cream, and it is exactly that. It's very airy once you put it on your hand, and then once you start rubbing it in, it's so, so soft and like thick, but not too thick. Like it's just a really good consistency and it lathers up really nicely. It's a gentle cleanser, but oh my God, it takes everything off. So like at night when I wash my face, I actually use this as a makeup remover as well. So I actually just go straight in with this. I know you're probably not supposed to do that. Sometimes I do take off my makeup with my cellar water, but when it's been a long night, I just go straight with this and it actually takes off all my makeup. And you know those times when you think you really wash your face and then you go in with toner and you realize that you hadn't? This, most of the time, when I go in with toner, you can't really see the dirt anymore. And another thing I love about this is sometimes um, during the day when I shower and I wash my face in the shower, you know how some um, cleansers do wash your face but not your mascara off? I hate that. And I always have to go in my cellar water after. This one like takes everything off. Like even mascara, you don't get mascara residue. It's just really good. And then this has been my all time favorite skincare favorite. So this is again the First Aid Beauty and it's called the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. And it says it's gonna help hydrate parched skin and temporary relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema. I actually don't have eczema. Can't tell you about the claims on that, but oh my God, if you have dry skin, you are going to love this. This has no parabens, harsh chemicals, or colorants. It does have oatmeal, ceramides, and soothing eucalyptus oil. And this is just for like really dry skin. And oh my gosh, I've been using this as my face moisturizer during the day and at night. And guys, a little goes a long way. Like look how much is in here. I literally like not even kidding. During the day, I put this much on and during at night, I'll like double it up a little bit. Now I have to rub it in. It lasts so long and the moisture is there. And at first when you pick it up, you think it's like very thick, but it's really more whipped than anything. It's kind of like this. It has like an airy feel. But once you put it on your skin, you realize like, um, this is gonna stay locked in and oh my god it does. I've, I've been using this every single day. I haven't touched any other of my moisturizers. So these two have been like my go-tos all freaking month. 
And the next two products is from a brand that I've discovered this month. It's called Fleur and B. So they actually sent me a couple products, but my favorite where the, um, I'm literally about to be finished with this, the toner and the eye cream. So this company is only uses natural ingredients. The dermatology tested, they're cruelty free, and they give 1% of proceeds to charity. So I really, really enjoyed this. This is the Eyes Eyes Baby. <laughs> I just, I just realized the name. I hadn't even looked at it. The anti-aging cream and oh my God, this feels amazing. So as you guys can see, I've been using it for about a month now and I have barely made a dent in it and that's why I love it so much. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I like put on such a small amount under my eyes and this is the nicest feeling eye cream. It literally feels like a balm. Like it's like thick, but not annoyingly thick. It's like a balmy thick and you rub it around your eyes. And even though it's a little bit on the thicker side, it does absorb very quickly. So I love that. I actually use it in the mornings and at night. It has vitamin B3 to reduce the appearance of fine lines. It has caffeine to help with, you know, tired looking eyes and also uh, dark circles and puffiness. It has vitamin E to rejuvenate the skin tone. And it has Matrixil 3000, which is a natural peptide that soothes skin and reduces wrinkles. And lastly, it has squalene, which is derived from olive oil and it hydrates and soothes the skin. So if you've been looking for a new eye cream, this is a really good one. It's gonna feel amazing and um, a little bit goes a long way so it does last a really long time and then I've also been using their toner this is the rose and shine refreshing rose water toner what I like about this is that first of all it smells like roses but also it's a very gentle toner so I know a lot of toners sometimes they like sting a little bit and I've been washing my face better and then going in with a more gentle toner and this one just, I've been using it all month. My skin has been looking really nice so I just wanted to share this one with you guys as well. All right, so moving on to makeup, I wanted to show you guys a favorite that y'all probably gonna laugh at me over, but it is this. This is an oldie, okay guys? And it's an oldie that I didn't like when I first started using it, but this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in glow this is the original powder and then they came out with a glow one and i used it and i hated it because i used it wrong actually i used i used it like under my eyes and i was like this doesn't work this it has too much glow to be a powder but it's not glowing enough to be a highlight and i was wrong it is the most beautiful highlight ever i don't know if you guys can tell but I have an overall glow right now, and it is from this. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been into more natural highlights. I like having more of a blinding highlight for like YouTube to make it pop, but for my like every day, I just prefer to look glowy and oh my gosh, so much product and you don't need that much. And all I do is I take my highlight brush and I take just a little bit and I just start building it up. And as you guys can see, if you use more layers, you can make it pretty intense. Like this is probably more intense than I would want in real life. It doesn't look um, so like stark white. It looks more like an overall glow. If you guys can see my forehead, this is more of like what I'm talking about because I feel like I layered it a little bit too much here, but you can put it on your forehead and it just gives you a beautiful glow. Look at that. The reason why I started using this is actually because the Jaclyn Hill highlighters came out and I was very interested in that glowy powder and I thought, I think I have one. Let me try it out. And I believe that this one is way more glowy than hers. I think you can actually set your whole face with her powder. If you've been thinking about maybe purchasing her powders, um, definitely give this one a try if you do have it. I think it looks amazing, so. Put a little bit on the chin. I never put highlighter on my chin. Uh, looks like I just ate some fried chicken. All right, so I might as well talk about another powder, which um, this is actually not a favorite. It's a, a, a miss, like it's not a hit, it's a miss. I usually don't have that many misses, but um, this kind of was. So this is actually a pure powder. This is called the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. I'm actually really lucky because sometimes I do get um, PR from Pure, and this was sent to me in PR. I just love the 4-in-1 foundation so much. It's this one. It's what I'm actually wearing on my face, and not to toot my own horn, but I think my face looks pretty flawless. 
foundation wise, foundation wise. And so when I got this powder, I thought, okay, it's gonna be a like a powder foundation. And I actually do love powder foundations. My favorite is the Bare Minerals ones. I like to go in with a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then the rest of my face with powder. And that's kind of like my everyday look. So I just, you know, once you start liking something, it's like, let me try other kinds. And I tried this and it did not give me very much coverage at all. I know you could probably use this to set your makeup and maybe add a little bit more coverage. But to me, this was advertised as a like, I think I have the package. It says it's a skincare enhanced foundation, powder and concealer that delivers flawless coverage, corrects and prevents and interrupts skin concerns. I don't think you can use this as concealer and it just doesn't have enough coverage. And that's kind of what I want to let you guys know. Um, because I feel like once you hear the four in one name and you think of the foundation, you think how full coverage this is, I feel like you might feel like this powder is going to be full coverage. And to me, it wasn't. And it sucks because the packaging is literally so pretty. And I actually really love Pure. And I think Pure is very underrated. I'm thinking about doing a my favorite pure products video. Let me know if you're interested. I just feel like no one talks about them and they have some bomb stuff. Except this one. Next. Since we're on the topic of cheek products, I wanted to share with you guys this. And it already looks so janky because I've been keeping it in my purse. But this is the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette in the shade Berry. This is the coolest thing. So I also received this NPR from Undone Beauty and I feel like I've never heard of this brand and I wanted to share with you guys because this has been in my purse since I tried it. The coolest thing about it is that it literally goes from sheer to more pigment. See how it comes in like three? I thought it was just the design and then I actually read the box and it literally goes from thin to medium to full pigmentation. I don't know if you guys can tell. So the top is the more sheer, medium's medium, and then at the bottom is like the highly pigmented one. I just feel like I haven't seen a product like this and it actually is really nice. This is gonna sound weird. Let me know if you agree with me, but when I'm not wearing any makeup, the one thing I will put on if I wanna make myself look better is just either grab a lipstick or just a cream blush and I'll add it on my cheeks and give myself a sunburn look and then I also like to put it on my lips. What I do is I use the most pigmented side for my cheeks so it lasts longer and I use a sheer side to give my lips a beautiful tint and it's also moisturizing and I love it. If you're interested in something like this, like a compact like this, definitely check them out. I like giving shout outs to brands that um, most people haven't heard of. And something cool about them is that they have a policy. If you don't love it, you get it for free. And if you're interested, their Instagram is at undone underscore beauty. So if you guys wanna check them out, definitely do. All right, so the next products, it's one product, but I have like a bunch of shades. Are these awesome liners? So these are from Koki Cosmetics. Oh my God, they are so freaking good. I think it's just a re retractable cold liner and they have a bunch of different shades. Some are matte and some are metallic. Um, I've been using the brown, black and white and oh my God, they are so good. There's some swatches. Um, as you guys can see, they are absolutely pigmented. They go on so easily and so opaque. And the coolest thing about this is that they literally don't go anywhere. Like, guys. You can get Koki Cosmetics online and at Walmart and they have so many different shades. I feel like at the drugstore, sometimes they just don't get it. Like sometimes they just don't come off as pigmented and Koki Cosmetics is amazing. If you want a discount code, you can use mine if you want. It's right here. It's for 25% off. So you can use that on their website. But if you do want to go see them in person, um, they do have Koki Cosmetics at Walmart. All right, I just have two more products um, and they're also for eyes. Guys, favorite mascara all month. I don't know why I'm hitting my head. I'm actually in a great mood right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. And I'm starving and I'm still in a good mood. So that that's good. The mascara that I showed you guys in my Thanksgiving makeup look with Deck of Scarlet is this one. And oh my God, I have not been able to put it down. It is so good. And I wanted to share with you guys, not only because it's a good product, but I feel like people only purchase the Deck of Scarlet subscriptions, but I don't feel like 
people realize that they sell the items on the website as well if you just want to try their makeup before you get a subscription. The mascara is called Triple Threat Conditioning Mascara in the shade Black Silk. All right, so this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, Ugh, it's not really focusing, but you guys get the shape. The wand itself is bendy, but the spikes themselves are very stiff and they really, really separate your lashes and comb them out. The cool thing about the formula is that it's almost gel-like and it does thicken pretty quickly. So the formula that is thickening with the very spiky brush gives you the absolute perfect combination of like, like length and volume and they're separated perfectly. I'm sorry, I'm wearing fake lashes right now for the sake of the video, but um, I'm actually, Side note, I'm gonna do a little bit of Vlogmas. So all these products, I'm not showing you um, how I'm using them. Um, I'll probably show them to you at one point or another in some vlogs because um, this has been my go-to mascara. I literally haven't used any other mascara since that video. So um, definitely try it out. All right, and speaking of lashes, we're gonna talk about one more product, Carity. 3D reusable faux mink lashes. So a lot of you guys were asking me what lashes I was wearing in my last video, which is my merch video, and they were from Carity. It was actually this style. This is the style Jamie, and I have been really liking these. They're a very good, like, not high-end or low-end. Like, they're a very good in-between lashes that perform high-end, and you can use them a bunch of different times. They're faux mink, they're 3D, and they're gorgeous. So this is the Sal Jamie, which again, I was wearing in my last video, and I love the spikiness and the flare out. These are in the style Ace, which is actually very similar to the other ones, but they're just a lot longer and more full, and these actually look a lot like the lashes I'm wearing right now. Like a feathery look, nothing too like spiky or not like the shape of it is just very chill but it's very voluminous i just haven't tried all of them but they do have a lot of different ones and they have ones that are more natural uh, i also have a code with carity it's right here if you want to use it i don't like to push codes down your throats but i also want you to get a discount if you're going to purchase something that is it for this video <sighs> i'm so glad i made it i had so many products to show you guys and i've just been running late and doing other stuff so um i don't know what i'm going to call this video but just know it was my last one's favorite current favorite product so i love you guys so so much happy december i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you next time bye